Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the Drivers tab. As a basic tutorial, we'll only be going over the Drivers list selection and the top and manual bindings. Let's start off by creating a driver and using the new button at the top of our work list. Let's name our driver. I'll name this one John Stamos. For the icon, I'll select a picture of my driver from my local files on the computer. Since this will be a basic setup with manual binding, I won't need to put in a code. In the advanced tutorial, we'll go over automatic bindings and how that works. Optionally, in the description, you can give a short description of the driver. The phone number, mobile key, exclusive option are advanced features and will be revised in the advanced tutorial for drivers. Custom fields are useful in the fact that you can add uniform descriptions to your drivers. For example, I'll add license class, CDL, as well as this driver's endorsements. Endorsements, T, N, H, X. Now that we made our changes, let's click OK. Now we can see our newly created unit on the work list. Within the first checkbox on the row, we can give or take away the driver's map visibility. To the right of here, we can begin to see our creation starting with our custom icon, followed by the driver name. If we hover over the icon and the name, we can see the custom fields we filled out to help better describe the driver we've created. Now we should bind our driver to make all of our work worth it. First, click on the binding chain, and then we'll select our unit. I'll select unit bus one Florida. Now that this unit is bound, we'll see that the unit's icon is in place of the binding chain. If we hover over the unit icon, we can see more detail on that unit. The second thing that happens when you hover over the unit icon is the icon turns into a red breaking chain. If you click on this, you can remove the binding. In case you ever forget to manually bind a driver to the unit, you can use the register working interval button to the right of the binding button. This allows you to look at the historical bindings as well as enter a whole new shift or even incomplete ones. Just select the date and time range at the top and hit show. At the bottom right, let's hit register shift. Now let's select the unit it was bound to at the time. In my case, it's bus one Florida. To register an incomplete shift, we'll only need to fill out the shift beginning. Although if the shift is already completed, we can use the shift in by activating its checkbox and fill out the end time as well. Now let's get out of these windows by selecting OK in the shift registration and manual binding and history windows. This will ensure all of our information is saved. If you need to go back and edit anything about one of your drivers, you can easily go back and edit by selecting driver properties wrench here. If you have a driver that shares similar properties, you can clone it using the copy feature. And if a driver no longer exists, or if you accidentally copy one too many times, you can select the red X here to delete it. Congratulations and thank you for completing our tutorial on the Drivers tab. I hope by now you feel a little more at ease when operating through our platform. To further extend your knowledge of our platform, check out our other video tutorials. I'll see you next time.